In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the sine of 7 pi over 6. So there's many ways to do this. Uh, here's, here's how I do it. So the first thing you want to think about when you look at 7 pi over 6 is the reference angle of this angle, and it's pi over 6. If you don't know what that is, you can always draw a little picture and find the reference angle. So this is 0, this is pi over 2, and this is pi, and you can think of this as 6 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 is a little bit further. It's right here. This would be the angle 7 pi over 6. And so you see this distance here, this angle is pi over 6. That's called the reference angle. And again, you can just pretty much look at it and realize that this is one of the special angles. And so its reference angle is pi over 6. All right, so from memory, and this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky, I memorized that it, the sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Okay, that's just from memory. So when you look at 7 pi over 6, this is what you should think. This is your first thought. Okay, think sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. So you want to memorize this. Then you say, okay, where is 7 pi over 6? Well, we've already drawn it, which is kind of convenient. So it's here. So this is the unit circle. So on the unit circle, sine is the y coordinate. Okay, so we're in quadrant 3, so it's negative. Therefore, the answer here is negative. Let me go over that again. So when you see sine of 7 pi over 6, you think, okay, what is the sine of pi over 6? And this is just from pure memory. Then you ask yourself, okay, where is 7 pi over 6 on the unit circle? Well, it's down here. And sine is the y coordinate. That means it must be negative. Boom. And that's how you get your answer. The trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same, except for possibly the sine. So that's a really key fact. And that's why this always works.